some of you maybe heard that EU Commissioner Günther Oettinger is about to fuck up uh, internet and copyright. Um, we have Kathleen Berger of Mozilla here who's going to tell us how, well, yeah, how actually uh, we can prevent him from doing so. Uh, welcome, Kathleen. Thanks. Um, I actually feel... I actually feel kind of bad to bring it back to Oettinger now after uh, refugee emancipation. So sorry for that. I'm also going to start with a picture of him because um, it's just too much fun. Um, so, I mean, the sad thing is that net neutrality fight was great. We succeeded there. But unfortunately, that was not the last of his projects and it's not over. So the next big fight is going to be copyright. And we have a proposal from the European Commission already, which was tabled on September 14th. Um, in general, the idea of updating copyright and harmonizing it across the European digital market makes a lot of sense, and we're totally pro that, because the, le the directive which currently regulates the market is from 2001, which means before most of us had smartphones, um, it's very analog and it does not cover at all what the way we actually live on the internet these days, especially, like, I mean, I don't have to tell you guys. Um, the problem with that proposal as it is uh, it's not really a form, it's more of a regression. So in fact, rather than doing something that's absolutely necessary, it's turning out to be potentially quite harmful. Um, so it's not enough to just let it go and continue as we've done before, but we actually have to start pushing back quite actively rather than watching because some of these things that are currently in the text will affect a lot of how we deal with the internet and it's likely to not just um, hamper innovation. It's interesting that that moves without me doing anything. Um, <laughs> but it's also um, going to interfere with everyday, uh, with everyday things that we do on the internet. Um, so when I say we, and that is one thing, like signing a petition that's already up there, we've already started on that campaign quite a long time ago, and with we, I don't just mean Mozilla, we're working very closely with the Creative Commons, with Edry, Wikimedia, and others on this, um, in order to reach as many communities as possible, because it's going to affect all of these, um, and all of us, of course. Um, if you go to changecopyright.org, it's not just signing the petition, it also gives you all the arguments of the problems th that we currently have with our language, and it tells you what we feel is absolutely necessary. So apart from updating copyright to the 21st century, and that includes exceptions, so for education, for parody, the panorama pictures, which I think you probably all know of, uh, the right to remix or analysis and research, the problem in the text right now is these exceptions are all voluntary. So rather than requiring member states to implement them at the national level, it's up to them whether they want to or not. So whether that's going to harmonize the market or be just as messy and scattered as it was before, up to the member states. And knowing how the EU has worked so far, um, that's going to be quite a tricky one. A second call is that we need to build an openness and flexibility because right now it's all very, let's say, rigid and the language does not allow for things like fair use or the right to remix, as already said. So the question of whether we're going to need a new update in like five years because we simply did not advance um, enough is quite strong. And then the third one, and I think that's going to resonate uh, a lot with the community here, is simply don't break the internet. Right now there's language in there, new proposals, which we did not expect to that extent, um, which includes our beloved ancillary copyright for the German speakers, Leistungsschutzrecht. Um, harmonizing that across the European Union is not exactly a fantastic idea. Um, so the whole licensing fees, or Google Text, whatever you want to call it, but also another element, which are the upload filters. So according to the current text, um, content ID filtering would be part of the harmonization of that copyright directive. So in other words, service providers, platform providers need to work together to implement content ID filtering, which includes then the monitoring and also the automatic content takedown. So another form of censorship, which I'm pretty sure you all agree, that's not something we want in the um, proposal in our copyrights. So what can you do? Because that's such a funny, bright picture um, apart from easy things, which if you go to learningmozilla.org, um, like 
creating new memes, posting selfies in front of the copyrighted panoramas, or also just help contribute to the Creative Commons and build the database there. Um, I think we've reached a stage where it's not just about fun and uh, posting things on social media, but it's also time to start reaching out to your MEPs because something that we got a lot in Brussels is, um, but our constituencies don't care. Copyright is boring. Like it's just, you know, that's something that doesn't really affect us. Individuals don't get any uh, notifications from administration that something needs to happen. That's not true and it's definitely gonna change. So like reach out to those that you can actually vote for, talk to your national administration, talk to the Digital Agenda Ausschuss, um, make sure that people are aware and help us raise awareness and uh, increase numbers. And that was a very quick pitch. So thanks for the attention. Feel free to reach out. I'm gonna be around. And um, yeah, on that happy note, enjoy the rest of the evening.